As for curbing gun violence, California already has more than 100 gun laws, and now the recent mass shootings in Half Moon Bay and Monterey Park have prompted state lawmakers to call for even more regulation. Last week, State Senator Nancy Skinner of Berkeley introduced legislation that would require gun owners to purchase liability insurance, which was inspired by a law on the books in San Jose. Standing behind many of these laws, though, are family members whose lives have been shattered by gun violence. Lauren Toms introduces us to a Bay Area mother who is turning her grief over her son's tragic death into action. I can remember you telling me how great and rewarding a career in the medical field could be whenever the question of what I wanted to do with my life came up. Claire Sinchina reads a letter written to her by her son just before he finished training to be a paramedic. Love your son, Camilo. <sighs> They're some of the last words he would say to her before he was killed when a person opened fire on an innocent crowd of club goers in San Francisco in 2014. He wasn't doing anything wrong. Um, this is what happens in this country when there's so many guns and uh, it's not acceptable. After facing an unimaginable loss, Claire turned to advocacy to heal, championing gun laws in California through Moms Demand Action. Now it was a bill that I immediately I thought this would had made no difference in my son's shooting, and then realized, but it would have made a difference in someone's shooting. My son is not going to be come back because of any bills that are pushed now, but it will make a difference in some in the future. California has some of the most restrictive gun laws in the nation, and state lawmakers are expected to push a handful of new legislation in the wake of a string of mass shootings across the state. At the turn of the year, several new gun laws went into effect. One law now prohibits anyone convicted of child or elder abuse from possessing a firearm. Another allows gun violence victims to sue the gun manufacturer or dealer. I feel like I'm honoring my son when I'm doing this. I feel like I'm I'm because I'm speaking up and I just don't let his death go unnoticed. And I feel like we are making a headway. Claire says she's not sure any laws could have protected Camilo, but she'll keep fighting to protect other families from gun violence. Because it's how I mother my my son is doing this work. So I know that these bills make a difference because I know people who maybe would still have their children if these were in, in place. Other potential laws in the pipeline include a state excise tax on ammunition and guns. Another bill would revise California's laws on permits to carry concealed weapons in public after the Supreme Court tossed out similar limits in New York.